We here for another week of the round two upcycling contest. Today's gonna be a good one. We got two people in the building right now and they're very talented. We got Alexander and Chi. Today they're working on, on hoodies. So it's gonna be very interesting seeing them work under this time constraint. Hey, what's up? I'm Chi, creative director of Chi QC. What's up? My name is Alexander Novak. Just a cool dude. Let's go meet the judges. So today we tasked them to create a hoodie. Whatever it is, their aesthetic, just make sure it fits the round two brand as well. Let's start the clock. You guys got two hours to finish the hoodie. Bring it. Bring all your flavor. Bring your style. Bring everything to it. So what you starting on right now? This is going to be a kind of like a decorative pocket. Yeah, it's going to go on the hoodie on the front of it. What you doing right now for the people at home seeing you with a hammer? So I have canvas here, which is naturally a pretty heavy fabric, and I'm mixing it with ribbing, a very stretchy fabric. So when I sew these two together, I want to make sure, you know, I top stitch it because there's all these bunched seams back here. So I'm going to hammer it down the best I can so it lays to one side. The hardest part was working with fabrics that were different weights and different structures. I broke it up into a kimono cut. The center piece is showing basically that whole hoodie with the graphic. I wanted to keep that integrity. Same with this center pocket here. It's all geometric cuts, but it allows it to stay structured. So there's still the hidden pocket here with a pouch pocket in the back. I wanted to split the hood in half so it could go with the whole hoodie. And then I wanted to add the jeans somehow. For me, what I like about this one is the way you paneled, even though it was either asymmetric, there was still kind of a balance that you kind of created, and I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, I think uh, a couple things that stand out to me is just like the quality of work. It's like definitely not a sloppy job, you know, and I, I really like that. It looks really clean, it looks really well thought out. Everything fits in the spots well. I'm hyped on it. I'd wear it, I'd wear it, you know? Yeah, so this all starts with being childlike. I incorporated like the flower cube and then the shirt. And then I designed like this kind of like wavy text. Because all the things of being a child, like it's on there. It's like purity, freedom, wild nature, different things like that. I wanted to capture that inside of the design on the sleeve. I put um, become like a child. And it's based on like quotes from Picasso and from Jesus where it talks about, you know, how every artist is a child and it's just remaining one as we grow up. All the designs pretty much speak that. The story of the child like is very reminiscent of like, I believe Sean. Sean's just like a giant child, but like in the most sincere way. There's something like childlike about round two that fits like this whole story that you're telling us. And I, I think the something that stands out to me is I really like your patchwork on here. I think it's really sick. I like how you kind of reverse so you can see the underside of that French terry on here and it just looks really nice. It's really nicely done on the sleeve and stuff. It's like not super sloppy. It's well thought out. I love it. It's dope. Both of you guys went crazy, by the way. Went crazy. While the judges go over it. I'm going to ask you guys to step over to the side. I, I see this as being like a really dope, like one-off, conceptual, sick thing. You know what I mean? And we were like, all right, which one could we really blow out into production and make like 250 of? That was how we had to make the decision because it was really tough based on like the skill output and just like the quality of it. It was probably one of the toughest decisions we had to make, honestly. Y'all both were so talented. With what we saw, we were like, we have to throw in another factor uh, since this is leading to a collaboration. So congrats to Alex. Alex. <laughs> Welcome back. It's a different challenge, you know. It's our first women's round. And so this is going to be really cool to see. We got Tori and Isabel here. And they will be taking these pieces behind me and making a vest today. Hey, I'm Tori, a.k.a. Nostalgic Threads. Hello, I'm Isabel Holato, and I'm excited. We're going to do it. <laughs> Time starts now. So if you don't mind me asking, what parts are you working on right now? Yeah, it's just going to be a vest with a fanny pack that will be like a back pocket. And then you're supposed to be able to roll everything up into the hood as like a pillow for camping. So that's like the concept we're working on right now. Crazy. Paying attention though to the functionality of behind these clothes is so crazy. It's blowing my mind. So we have concluded this right now and we're going to take both designs over to the judges. How do you guys feel first off? I'm just glad it's finished and I did everything I wanted to do so I'm honestly really relieved that I get to present the full idea. It's all that mattered to me to be honest so I'm happy. How about you? How you feel? I feel like I was just sewing at home. Everyone's super chill. It was just a great work environment. Happy I finished on time. <laughs> Alright, we bring these over right now. To our three judges, you know, Poncho, Sean, Rich. 
Hello. First off, thank you so much for having me. This was so fun to do. Everyone was super cool. Today I have a one shoulder vest. I called it the cold shoulder vest. It's pretty much a reversible one shoulder vest. I added some pockets on the side and at the front. It's a really cool versatile vest depending on your personal style, whatever colors you feel like wearing that day. I added like those keychains. And then this is my uh, logo for my own brand is the Halato. It's 3D printed with my brother's printer. I don't know how to use that. <laughs> but yeah, this is my vest. First of all, wow, <laughs> like it's like a complete, like this can go on the store. You fully lined it, you added your batting right correctly. It just makes it more like expensive, heavier things equal, equal value. And you completely transform the pieces, honestly. This feels really nice. Again, I, I do like the weight of it too. It's like surprising holding up, you're like, oh wow, you're like, this does have some weight to it. This is really nice. I like the name a lot. I think the name's cool, the cold shoulder, like this play on, this play on words is like, it's pretty funny. It's always nice to see something a little different, you know, this is fire. I made like a camping hiking vest situation where I tried to innovate was basically making like a fanny pack for the back that could just be also used as a bag. Um, it's also a back pouch. I wanted to add a hood because I feel like when you go camping, you often need a pillow and you can roll it up into the hood. And I just went to Yosemite with one of my friends. I feel like that's kind of where I got the inspiration from. I do like flea markets and stuff all the time, so I like having all the pockets and then you can just have the matching fanny at the same time. Well, again, you two as well really thought out the box and unique. It helped that you told us the descriptions and the functions. I was sold on being very utilitarian with this product. I really like how much of the material you use. The whole thing with like upcycling and sustainability there's like using as much as possible. So I think that's something, you know, really cool to see. This is really sick. I mean, so much utility on it, you know? I feel like it's one of those things you get and you kind of keep finding new stuff. So honestly, this has been like the longest deliberation we've had. They're just so different, but they're just so good in their own ways. It was so, so hard, but all three of us came to an agreement that for the first time, we're going to allow you two to go to the final on Friday. So both of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had to do both. Yeah, it was crazy. All right, welcome back. We're here for a second week, another day here at the Easy Lab. It's a little different today. We got three competitors today because on Wednesday, it got crazy. So we have to bring both of them here. Time starts now. Let's go. Let's get to it. My inspiration for this one, one was kind of like a track jacket, especially with these sleeves right here. My second inspiration was kind of random. In a lot of women's yoga jackets, there's like pockets right here and then they're hidden. And in the back, kept it pretty simple since the front already kind of has a lot going on. I really like the way the stripes kind of go out that way. And then we have another pocket in here. I love working with denim as well. So I had to put the tag right here and that was my jacket. Something that has fashion and function at the same time. When you describe secret pockets and things, I think that was cool to integrate those things into the already existing, but then you ended up to make it like something special. I think things excite me is because like I designed these pants and I like seeing them re-envisioned, you know? Like this was so fun for me was like having these stripes that went all across like the butt of the pants and stuff. It's just cool seeing you like re-envision something that came from like a 1970s reference into okay. this. Where I started from with this was the pieces we got gave me the whole vibe of like snowboarding winter ski there's a video game i was telling sean earlier that inspired me a lot from when i was younger 1080 avalanche it's like on the original xbox i felt like these little logos and a lot of the cuts even on the raglan packable anorak felt like pieces from that you have the raw edge exposed on the sleeves you can wear it with the white or denim over it or the purple kept the integrity of basically every piece that we got to use even down to like the ribbing from the t-shirts the symmetry of it looks great really good work on it i love the tearaway aspect i think it's cool like a tear as you go i love for something to like build a story with you i gotta say my favorite thing has got to be the back i love the juxtaposition of this dude it's so fucking good i really like how this looks together and this i feel like could be something 
something that can be used on like multiple pieces for like a brand, whether it's on like denim or a tote bag. This was supposed to be a piece on like sustainability. I'm someone who's really passionate about obviously sustainability and like the environment. I wanted to use all the scraps to like recreate like the art on the back. I love this stitching that you did. I think that's really cool. I like how things are being able to be used as other things besides garments. I was really <laughs> excited to see, you know, the final product of this one. So definitely wish we saw the super final, but like this is really dope. I like how you layered on the back. I can assume like with this being a finished product, like the layering is really dope. And again, you were just so ambitious with it. You know what I mean? This is like a fully complete retail product. It was what really helped us make the decision. So we have our winner here, Isabel, yes.